the American housewife, who has a more important, a more responsible occupation. Wife, mother, laundress, counselor, maid, chef, purchasing agent. All of these are her duties at one time or another. If her income is limited, and most incomes are, it is her duty to be sure that what she has to spend buys the most in healthful, nutritious food for her family. Yes, she feels that she must buy wisely if she can. But just what does this mean? What can she do to be sure her money goes as far as possible? One of the first things she can do is just what this young lady is doing. Shopping from a grocery list. Using the list tends to eliminate so-called impulse buying, which is a great waster of housewives' funds. What is impulse buying? Let's take a look at Henry Slinkman. He's frequently guilty of it. Henry's going to pick up something for dinner. His wife didn't tell him what to get, anything that looks good, she said. Henry's been working hard all day and he's hungry. What's more, he's hungry for something different, getting tired of the same old things all the time. That's it. That's what he's hungry for, oysters. So Henry takes not one, not two, but three pints of oysters. The way he feels right now, he could eat all of them by himself. Henry and his wife don't often eat cake. Neither of them care much for it. But tonight, Henry's really hungry, and this cake certainly looks wonderful. Henry knows he ought to have some vegetables, good diet and all that, you know. What's this? Henry's never seen anything like this before. Looks good, so he'll take two. Yes, Henry is guilty of impulse buying. But how is impulse buying wasteful? When Henry finished dinner that evening, he was sure he wouldn't be able to eat another oyster for a long, long time. And almost two of the three pints that Henry bought will have to be thrown away. Neither Henry nor his wife cared for the new vegetable. Most of what he bought will go to waste. Henry and his wife tired of the cake long before it was eaten. Henry found out about impulse buying the hard way. The housewife may buy quantities which are not economical for her family. Here are two different size cans of the same product. The small can contains 16 ounces and costs 12 cents, or 75 hundredths of a cent per ounce. The large can contains 31 ounces and costs only 22 cents, which is 71 hundredths of a cent per ounce. Which shall she buy? The answer depends entirely upon the situation. If the food requirements of the family are great enough, the large can is the better buy, because all of it will be used. None will be left over. But if the family is small, the small can may be the better buy since part of the large can would probably have been wasted. The right answer depends upon the requirements of the purchaser. Sometimes substantial savings can be affected by buying in case lots. But this presents a storage problem that some people may not be able to solve. It's wise to be sure the food is well liked by everyone before you buy too much of it. Obviously, highly perishable foods are not suitable for quantity buying because they spoil too quickly. When buying canned goods, be sure to read the label. The information on the label is much more reliable than the flowery language of advertisements. Some labels are of the descriptive type that you see here. 
giving the buyer some description of what is to be found in the can. Other labels carry a letter grade, which indicates the characteristics of the contents. The meanings of the letters vary with the type of food. Usually, the grade A indicates a fancier product. For example, these grade A tomatoes are larger, more colorful, and less broken than the grade C, although both grades are probably equally nutritious and healthful. These are canned string beans. Which is grade A and which is grade C? Here, the smaller beans are grade A because they are more tender and taste better. Here are grade A and grade C peaches. Can you tell the difference? Of course you can't. Not only appearance, but taste and degree of ripeness determine the grades of these peaches. The size is of small importance. The thing to remember is to read the label. Know what you are buying before you buy. Did you ever stop to think how many ways you could buy one kind of food? Dried? Canned? Frozen? Or fresh? It will pay you to analyze the situation and decide which is most economical for you. Usually, if it's the season when the fruit or vegetable is ripe, it will be most economical to buy it fresh. This box of strawberries will cost about half as much in summer when berries are plentiful as it will in winter. The season of the year has a tremendous influence on the price of most fruits and vegetables. The reason for this great difference in price is the cost of transporting the food from a warm climate where it can be grown in winter to the market which may be several hundred miles distant. Different kinds of fruits and vegetables are in season at different times throughout the year. It will be more economical for you to serve the ones that happen to be in season at any particular time. You may find that you can save money by doing your own preservation of foods. Home canned food will usually cost less than commercially canned. And if the housewife's time is not too highly valued, this can be a saving. Frozen foods are the nearest thing to fresh foods available. They are convenient, easily prepared, and palatable, but they are usually priced higher than other types. This price is partially offset by the fact that there is no waste. There are various meats available to the housewife, ranging from the most tender, most expensive cuts, to the equally nutritious but less tender portions of the animal which are sometimes ground or chopped. At this point, the cooking ability of the housewife becomes highly important. It doesn't take much skill to make an excellent meal from an expensive T-bone steak. But the sign of an accomplished cook is an attractive and tasty dish made from less expensive meat, hamburger. Frankfurters. Even a well-prepared, well-seasoned stew is a dish a housewife can be proud to set before her family. The nutritive value of meats varies little with price. The desirability and small proportion of the tender cuts causes them to be priced higher. Milk is an important part of every good diet but your attempts to economize on it may have disastrous results. Use the best grade of milk available to you. Disease may be contracted through drinking unsanitary raw milk. Now let's review the important rules for buying wisely. Shop from a grocery list to avoid impulse buying. Decide upon the most economical quantity for your family. 
Check in your local market as to which form of food is the most economical for you. Purchase fruits and vegetables in season whenever possible. Do your own food preservation when feasible. Exercise your skill and ingenuity in preparing tasty and healthful dishes from less expensive meats. You'll find that keeping these things in mind will help you to buy wisely and stay within your food budget.